I do believe we've got our first little spot of sunshine there of the season. Oh, just not reaching here. You can see the sun's over there. The clouds breaking. So with northerly, you can see the weather that we've had. Is uh, the weather that we're going to get is kind of over here, which is beautiful. Looks like oh yeah, and the sun is here now. Look at that. Whoa, that's lovely. Oh. Look at that, sunshine. So these I got from Drascom, they're little chocks. And the idea is they go in here, maybe like that and like to the side, and they stop the mizzen from sort of moving. So let's give that a go. And I'll try and explain. I think that goes that way around. So you can see the mizzen does move and these chocks are designed to chock the mizzen, okay? So it doesn't move so much. To be honest with you, they're not big enough at all. They're way too small. But you do get the idea. It's definitely chocked that a little bit better. So we'll leave those in. We'll probably, we will probably end up losing those after the first sale, won't we, when we pull the mizzen mast out. We forget about it, but hey, there we go. We could make some thicker ones, couldn't we? We've got the bow speed back out and uh, you may remember from a previous video I added this extra line. Now this line is connected to this one so it's not going to pull this black thing out. And then what this was designed to do was actually stop the bow spree from moving backwards or forwards. So let's do that. And this then was designed to stop it moving sideways hectic but there we go that's the idea bloody hell that is solid that's really solid now it can't lift up because of, of this here so it can't lift up there there but if we need any more we can tie this down to the the little towing eye or whatever that's called um, and then the spinnaker goes on here so there's the bow spree and I've attached the halyard to the end there might need a little bit of sorting out and then uh, that's so that'll be a spinnaker halyard so i think this is going to be good about here i'm going to bring it forward a little just so it's out the way of here and it's easier to get hold of and that will go that way round i'm going to use these these are probably slightly longer than probably you might want but i'm just going to dip these now in the in the uh, Gorilla Glue, because that's all I got. And then we're gonna, oh, I should have done that after I'd done it in here, but there we go. And then we're gonna pop them in there. So that's one. Let's get this first one on first. Right, oh, they're really good, good, good. They're lovely. Right, let's get that put through. There we go. And now we can keep that nice and tight. Make this good. This end. I need my pliers down there to give that a good, good old pull. There we go. And then that's just loose. That can go down there while we're not needing it. So this is my jib stick system. Uh, make sure we know how to do this there we go that goes on like this this goes in there we go let's put that and that screws together today's probably a brilliant day to test this out actually because it's not too Not too windy, but windy enough. And I think we've got some breeze coming over the, you know, straight down the lake. Oh, hmm. <laughs> this is not gonna play ball, is it? Oh, there we go. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Well, that's on. That'll do for a test. We'll worry about this later. Now, we need to work out where this jib stick is going to hang from. So I've got the jib stick out. The other thing we need to do is work out where the spinnaker pole, and this is my spinnaker pole. We've got to work out where that's going to go as well. Now, originally, oh, I've got this one in there. Originally, we've, we were going to use this mast plate for the spinnaker. And then we've got that little, try and get it. And we've got this little ring thing here that will be the place where the jib stick needs to go. But I'm gonna try and see if we can get this, just this put in and it'll work for both. So let's go around to the front of the boat now and see if we can get this to fit. See the wind is uh, really picked up. Um, so let's have a look. So the jib stick is gonna go into this hole, into the, I think this is the clue of the sail, or is this the tack? Oh, I always get them mixed up. Right, we're actually being held by the anchor at the moment, which is good. And then, oh, and then that will go like this and up. Now, can we fit that on to the, where? Yeah, I think we can, because if it's there, it's fine. If it's there, it's fine. Yeah, I think we can. I think we could probably clip this anywhere from there down to here and it will be fine. So I think what we'll do, we'll go and get the, um, the spinnaker flying and then we'll see where that needs to go. So let's just get the uh, jib up. Whoop. Well, I can hear it, I can't see it. Hmm. The wind's died down a little, so let's just get it raised. <laughs> Come back. Come on. So it's almost impossible to do that, but I think, you know, what we'll see is it bellowing out here. So I think the mass plate's got to be about here. So I'm just going to put it in here <coughs> and be done with it. So I think we're talking about here. And then we've got the mast plate. There we go. It's beautiful, actually. But we'll do that. And then we make sure that is in the middle there. So I need to come back aboard and get this screwed on. I've just Gorilla glued inside here. So hopefully that will create a good seal. And then the idea will be to get this nice and plumb. I'm kind of doing it by eye, but I think that'll be there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All done. So that is solid as a, as a rock, that, that's brilliant. Um, let's see now if we can, now we've got that on, let's see if we've got any stowage options for this spinnaker pole. So if we just click that on like that, Oi. there we go. So we click the spinnaker pole on 
we could now stow that, couldn't we? Look at that, like this. So the spinnaker pole could be stowed. So it's sort of ready to rock and roll. Now, yeah, I think that'll be okay on the halyard there. And then let's just see, there's always enough give in, in those halyards. So I think they're fine. It'd be good, wouldn't it? It'd be good if we could snap it shut there, up there. It'd be really good though, actually. Last few jobs. Uh, I want to put my little uh, shroud, flag, whatever, magizmo. Do you go like that or do you go like... Oh, that one goes at the top, doesn't it? I'm just going to see if these fit. Firstly, that's the first one. We want it on probably on the outside of the shroud. That's the first one. The second one, unfortunately, necessitates us bringing the mass down. And because, and because that happens when I'm doing that, I'm gonna do that off camera. Ah, oh, I should have videoed that because it would have been a comedic, most comedic thing you've ever seen. Mass went up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Tangled lines, God knows what happened. Everything that could have happened happened. But we're there. So I've got my line now, all the way up the top there. Um, oh, way, bit of a breeze. So watch those scissors on the mainsail. Oh, mainsail's come undone. And then I've got a bowline around there so I know that line can't come off. And then I'm attaching the flags now. And then we'll hoist them and we've got a little flags back. Last few little jobs to do now. Uh, I've got to fit some new telltales on the shrouds. These little ribbon ones, they are quite useful actually. Uh, we, knew, we need to get some telltales on the sails, but oh, all in good time. Um, I need to learn how to use telltales properly, especially on the jib. Well, these are awkward things to get off. All right. Go. This should go screwed on, and then I'm going to do the other one the other side. Right, just going to work out where this camera needs to go. So I've got the mizzen, or well, this is mizzen cam, should I say? So I've got the camera there. I think that's about right, isn't it? I'm trying to see. I don't want it any. Do I want it any higher? Maybe we could try it in different places. So I think. I'm going to put it, I think this is where it was, about there. I think that's where we'll we'll stick it for now. So let's get this, is like little VHB tape. And this cures over time and it sticks to the varnish really well. Oh gosh, the boat is moving around like crazy now. So let's get that there. There we go. And then that hopefully will be a good position for Miz and Camp. So it's about two o'clock. Um, it was one o'clock and then you just chat to people. It's crazy. It's so, so much fun though, chatting to people. But uh, I want to get out for a sail because the wind's perfect for a little cheeky sail. Um, I've got one last job I want to do and that is get this tiller pilot sorted. So we need to get out on the water to do that so I need to drop the rudder all the way down um, and yeah and then I think we'll get out for a sail the other thing I'm I kind of just lost probably use it for something else is my little tiller tamer uh, so it's just the line that goes across here so all I need to do is cut a little bit of line enough 
so it just goes across the width of the boat with enough to tie it off at both ends so that'll be about there it's probably time for a bit more of this uh, polystyrene polyester sorry I don't think I'd have a problem driving anything that big. We're off! Hey! Just aware of uh, the breeze is pushing us that way. So we've just got to care, give these, this boat here good clearance. And now we're free. Oh yeah, as soon as you get here, look at that, there's a good old wind here. Good old wind. First thing I just want to double check is uh, that this little tiller tamer, if you like, works. All I did was folded it round once like that, looped it in the eye, and then try to get that in the, the middle. A bit more. I just don't want to go too far downwind because just in case get back. Let's make sure we, we're heading that way. Now, I have actually lost my, oh yeah, so I've lost my little uh, cleats that I had on the side, do you remember? But this isn't going to keep out, yeah, because they've got to pull backwards. So that's not going to work. Uh, we need 
proper cleats for that to work. There we go. Then this side just needs to go in the other side. All we need is a tall line because then It still works, look. So it still works. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of sea room, which today means we're gonna go to the north of the lake. And you can see how far we've come already, right from there. It's so easy, you drift so easy. You can see we're pretty much dead into the wind. Whoa, there goes the sail. There we go, should be okay, I can't reach the top. Looks like that's, something's catching on that, but, oh, it's the gaff. Yeah, that's okay, that's fine. So you can see the telltales now, and look how quickly we're drifting. So what I want to do is get this uh, tiller pilot sorted. So first things first, let's uh, undo this. Wow, look at us, we're drifting that fast. That's crazy, isn't it? So this is why I want to do this quickly. So I want this on here, and I want the tiller tamer on here. And we need this rudder to be pretty much amidships. There we go. So let's get her amidships and that will be there. Oh, I don't think it actually, does it snap on there? Oh, it does. Okay. Well, let's snap it on. Just, um, just, we're not going anywhere. So we need that to be straight. There we go. So it needs to be about there. I'm really excited. You can see I've got the battery over there. We're gonna get this tiller tamer on now. Not tiller tamer, sorry, the tiller pilot. We'll have a little motor. Just get used to it again. There we go. That looks good. Okay, let's switch her on. We need to now put some power on. There we go. We're going to aim for so that's 40, 50, 60. Eight, I think it was 80 or 90 degrees, and so now we're heading for Boise C. Oh, we're motoring, aren't we? Let's just turn the motor down and tickle. Oh, yeah, you need to stay out of the way, don't you, the tiller? There we go, and she's holding a course, and now we're going to try and push as close to as we can now the problem is we've got no one in the motor so let's just give the motor a bit of um there we go there we go you can see us starting to turn now it's 
slowly but surely. There we go, and there's seat. I don't know how many times I've pressed this now. Now, we know we're cutting across the wind here. We're at about, I'd say we're at 90 degrees now. Just, just under, maybe 80. And we're heading back home. And you can see we are, we are going. Look at that, seas there. And uh, the tiller pilot, look at this. Whoa! It's keeping us at a good degree. So we're at 60 degrees. And we're doing well. So I'm really chuffed with that. That, that tiller pilot works. It, it works so well. Uh, and these are testing conditions for it, really. Um, I have no idea what the time is. Um, and I don't want to get all the sails out because it's quite late in the day. Uh, we are coming down later this week. So I think this is going to be it for now. I'm going to get her on the mooring. Um, just double check everything's okay with the mooring. We're going to give her a good check as well. Check there's no water in her. But she's been on the water all day. And yeah, she's got nothing in her. So I think we're looking good. Uh, we need to come around this way a little bit. Uh, about this way. We're going right into the wind now, judging by these boats. So... We just need to grab this uh, mooring buoy and get hooked on. <laughs> it's nice just sitting here on the mooring, to be honest with you. In the sun. We need to bring the boat back into shore. Because I've also got no tender. There goes another uh, olive, another grape. The water's not that cold, to be honest with you. I've been studying it all day. Uh, so we could just swim back. But I got I can't swim back with a battery. Uh, a chiller pilot and stuff like that, can I? So I can swim back. Gosh, look how violently we're changing direction there. We're swimming. Here's Lulu. We're just going to get the engine off and the outboard and whatnot and get out there. And then and then I'll have to just swim in. It's, the water's fine, to be frank. A bit cold, but it always is. So let's go. Here it goes. Everything's packed up. Hopefully she's not going to sink. <laughs> again well, I think she'll be fine uh, I've got to take my battery back though so I'm hoping there's not too much current and we can get over there uh, just waiting for a little bit of a lull in the wind but I don't think it's gonna come so I think we just got to get ourselves in so nice and slowly easy does it I think and we'll be fine <sighs> Just got to watch the cold that's all i'm mildly concerned about is just the shock of the cold right there we go Ooh.
Cold. There we go. Woo. Not gonna lie, that was cold. That was really cold. Woo. Whoop. Got a bit of a headache after doing that. We're just trying to find the slipway. Woo. Oh. oh, that took it out of me. Just checking my pulse. Oh, I'm, everything's getting back to normal now. Whew. That might have been a bit silly in uh, shorts and nothing else. Yeah, it might have been a bit silly and I'm not gonna lie, halfway into it, I, uh, there was a mild, like a mild, should I say panic? There was just a mild, ooh, I could feel my heart pounding. Um, I, uh, I cycle and I race, so I know I'm fit. Need to lose a bit of weight, but I'm, not, I'm fit. So I know um, that little swim should not, should not have taken it out of me like this, which means it was cold. Right, it's fortunate that the sun's uh, out because um, it's really warm on the skin. But I need to tie myself off now and uh, just uh, sort myself out. That was silly, shouldn't have done it. You know, in hindsight, shouldn't have done it. That water was actually quite cold out there. I think in the shallows, it's not so cold, but out there, it was pretty cold. It's given me a headache, it's gone now. And when I was drying myself off, uh, <laughs> I couldn't feel it, my body was numb. So, um, oi. so that was not clever, was it? Yeah, not clever at all. So next time we use the uh, the uh, the tender of some nature um, until the until the weather gets warmer, anyway. Well, the next video is where this season's going to really start, I think. So, in terms of sailing, so I hope you've enjoyed, um, you know, the uh, the winter videos and the DIY and all of that. But we will be getting back to a bit of sailing as of the next video. Thanks for watching again. See you soon. Bye-bye.